So I'm on my way outside, y'all, because I did some spray painting today. And I am going to um, go make sure everything looks good. I think all the surfaces are covered and everything. I'm going to double check. And then I'm going to bring everything in and try to put it up tonight. We'll see. I know this is like a country bumpkin little thing to do, but <laughs> this is uh, one of the frames. The pictures were, I won't say they were stuck in there, uh, but the back was on very firmly. It would have took a lot to get these pictures out and get this little doohickey undone. So I put um, aluminum foil and tape in there, edged it, kind of stuck it up under the edges. So prayerfully, uh, no spray paint got on the glass. And then the shelf is there, it's drying there. Y'all, I'm on the side of the house. My husband gonna spank me because I'll be spray painting up everything, leaving marks here and there. <laughs> I don't think you gotta use this for nothing. I don't know, but anyway. See, I sprayed a lot of stuff silver over here and, and black. So anyway, this is another frame. That's another frame that's hung up and drying. I didn't, sp well, yeah, I did. I sprayed the, uh, I think the third coat when I was spritzing. I should have took it down, but I didn't. Usually this comes off with several rains. So this is an old fence, which is no excuse for me spraying it up. And my husband's not going to be happy. So, you know, oh, Jesus, help me. Anyway, <laughs> and then this is another one. This is a sign that I'm going to make. So it came out good. This is the way it's supposed to be, it's textured. So that came out nicely. And y'all, I can't get this real good, but let's see. I spray painted a lampshade. Yes, Tracy did. <laughs> y'all know I spray paint everything that ain't moving. So let's see what it's gonna look like on top of my mother's lamp from her house because I could not find the shade that I wanted. I was trying to do this in a grayish color. I know it looks gray, gray right here, but it's really a beige gray in reality. So hopefully it looks good on the lamp, but we'll see. And this one just needs a little spritzing. You probably can't see it too good, but it needs a little spritzing. Um, I spray painted the black items with this Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. Y'all make sure to wear your gloves and masks when you're spray painting. But keep the fumes out of your lungs and keep the residue off of your hands. So anyway, from wood, metal, plastic, and more. And this is the black semi-gloss. So here's one of the woods or one of the wood frames. I spray painted it black and the other one I did too is still outside. I had to spray paint it a little bit more, touch it up, and I put it back outside. Um, but this is one of them. It came out really good. And um, this was of my husband's team. Because this room is for him back here. For all of us. But it's, man, it's mainly his man cave. So let me prop this up. This is uh, my husband's team. I forget the name of this actual team. He played on several teams in the softball circuit. Back in like the late 90s. And in the early 2000s. So this is from 2002, and my husband is here on the end. Let's see, right there. And Jordan is right there. That's our oldest son, Jordan. Uh, so he he was around too. We go to the park and watch him. Um, but he played with several teams, and those awards that they have is... My husband still has his. It's right here. He got so many trophies and awards and stuff. But that's it right there. Yep. Metro tournament is a huge tournament. I don't know if they still have it every year. I think they do. But yeah. And that's my husband too. I think that was that was before we met. This was like right after college, I believe. So yeah, that's him. That's my little nephew, Dejon, my great nephew, Dejon. He is 23 now, 23 or 24. 
He was just the cutest little baby. <laughs> but I spray painted this black also as a shell. It's gonna go right here. And um, they, these are the other frames that I spray painted. They're black because the room is like anchored in black. And so I wanted like a deep dark color back here being it's a man cave and he doesn't want no feminine touches. <laughs> so I'll show y'all what it looks like. It's not gonna be grand and grandiose or anything cause he doesn't want it grand and grandiose, but I wanna make it as nice as I can for him. And then this is the other one. This is the other picture. And let's see, where is my husband? My husband's right there. <laughs> and there's Jordan right there. Uh, this is the second pictures when he played with the Cincinnati players. So this is what I picked up from Dollar Tree, you guys. It's just a small Dollar Tree haul. Um, I was going, I took some stuff back actually took some things back to Dollar Tree. They usually don't give refunds. They will do exchanges. So I had like 20 something dollars worth of stuff that I had gotten for the house remodel from there. And I took it back and I got this stuff. And I only had to pay like $4 or something because I got a few more items than I took back. So I ended up getting some paper plates. Um, these are nice and sturdy. You don't get many in the pack, but you all know that sometimes it is actually cheaper to buy some things from other places rather than Dollar Tree. Even though it sounds good that everything's a dollar, sometimes some things are actually cheaper other places. Now, I did not count up the cost on this or anything like that, but I'm sure you could probably get a better deal maybe at Walmart or something. But in this pack, there's 15 uh, plates, 15 paper plates. And then I got two packs of these. They're bigger. And I got two packs of those. Um, they have 10 each in there. And then 10 each in this pack here. They're all white. So got those. And then I got the Sure Fresh containers. And you can put like ketchup in it. Um, any kind of little condiment or something like that, some small amount of whatever sauces. If you like go to work or want need to transport transport something somewhere, it's four four dollars. I thought that was pretty good. They have these nice Rubbermaid containers. So this would be great to take to work for like if Chris wanted to take some leftovers to work. They are BPA free, made in the USA, microwavable safe. As it looks, you can freeze that last little emblem. I think you can freeze it. And this middle one, I, I haven't seen that before. Maybe dishwasher. That middle one might be dishwasher safe. So, yeah. Soups and just, you know, whatever. Bowls. Yeah. So, a dollar for that. And then a dollar for a two-pack. They have three sections. So there's two that comes in the pack and they have three sections each. I thought that was pretty good. And the same with that, they are microwave, freezer, top rack, dishwasher safe, and they are BPA free. So that's, that's great to know. All right, and I had some fingernail polish that I picked up cause I still have not done my nails. <laughs> and I hate not having my nails done. But uh, I picked up some polish. As you all know, I use many different brands of polish. And y'all, these L the LA Colors and, this, and some of the other ones from the Dollar uh, Tree, they, they're, they're good. They're actually good brands. They last a long time, especially when you put a, a base coat, then you put the polish, and then you put the nail dryer, the top coat on top. It lasts a long time last a long time so I picked up these colors I was out of red or just about out of red so picked up these colors and then I picked up this as a backup this um it's not my favorite but it is good I won't say it's not my favorite I, I was using this for like a good I would say the past two years and um I like it a lot but I'm going to try some other brands um so I don't know, just kind of time to switch over. So I'm going to try some other brand. I tried Elf the last time. I think I like the Elf, you know, a lot. I don't know if better than this. It's kind of hard. You, 
eyeliners are kind of, um, unless they smear, they're kind of the same. So, yeah. Anyway, I try to pay better attention. But I'm going to try, you know, another brand. I used to use Maybelline and CoverGirl all the time. So I'm going to go back to that and see if I can tell the difference. Got this Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion for a dollar. Like the hand cream size. Put in your purse or keep in your car. The kids and, and, and hubby always asking for lotion when we're on our way somewhere. Also, got these tissues. Isaiah has some in his room already. I'm going to put this in Jalen's room and this one in the family room. Got some toilet paper. I got four packs of these. And I got some more of the um, dishwashing detergent. Y'all know I love lavender and lime. That is my favorite one. And then I also picked up the citrus lemon. Y'all know I love lemon. And this had 25% more free. I do love apple too. This is like an apple pear scent. So I got that. And then I didn't get done, but I got this. Pamala Fresh and Clean. I had not been to smell that and see what this smells like. It smells pretty good. It's decent. It's not anything, you know, just great and grand, but it, it it's decent. So I don't know if I'd get that again. I'm I'm a person that's into smells in a big way. So love that lavender and lime. Got the placards here. 35 of those. So yeah, that was my little haul. Oh, and face masks. These were a dollar, and there are 10 in here. So I thought that was a really good deal. They're all polka dot. I would have loved that they were assorted, but they're all polka dot. But it's not bad for a dollar. So that's my little haul. Hey, guys. I have some editing to do, spray painting, some more frames and uh, watering the flowers and a few other things. So I'll take y'all along a little bit on my day. I am in the kitchen doing my nails, catching up on some YouTube work. And also um, I'm watching Brandy Gibbs. I am really enjoying her channel. Um, but yeah, she's a, she's a really good YouTuber. But I am doing my nails because I have not done them in a while. And I'm so upset about that. But... I had to pause everything and take a break and just get my nails done. I had to cut them. I had to cut all my nails off because one broke. But my sister-in-law was telling me about some product that she uses um, that mends your nails. So I'm going to try that the next time because I do not like growing my nails out and then cutting them all off. That is so much work. <laughs> so, yeah, about to, um, oh, this is what I'm using. I am using this Believe. And it's just a clear coat. It's the Ultra Shine Base Coat. And I'm using this Sassy Chic Nail Polish. And let's see, 954. Uh, let's see. If I can get a color. Uh, oh, it doesn't say a color. It's just a number. It usually, okay. Okay, this is not LA Nails or anything else. So, okay, this is Sassy and Chic. Yeah, I don't see a color, just a number. 954. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And then this is Sally Hansen. Dries instantly top coat. I usually use the dry, the nail dry and the red bottle from Sally Hansen. And just wanted to try this and see what it was like. So far I'm liking it. So either one would be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get finished because I have to go pick up Isaiah from work. I'm doing my toenails too. Did those. I just gotta put some nail dry on them. over asparagus that's why it's looking kind of limp <laughs> and then some shrimp Garage. 